Hello everyone, Demigo coming at you from the Bastion Surfer. This time, by request, I'm going to go over Guild Conquest. Um, some people in my guild and some people around were asking me if I would to maybe throw out some tips, advice on the Guild Conquest and kind of how the thing works. A lot of people see Conquest, hear people talk about Conquest, but really do not know what it is, how it works, any of those things, do not understand what can be profited or made out of contributing to Guild Conquest. So I'm going to start off and just say the reason they asked me to do this video is back as soon as Conquest was launched on the Republic side of the Bastion server I was in a guild called Gentlemen Gankers. Gentlemen Gankers figured out fairly quickly how the Conquest system worked um, through the repeatable events. They had the membership and the dedicated people and won six Conquest planets in the first I calculated it as 17 planets um, the 17 first conquest weeks they won six times that's one out of every three they were fairly consistent um, I left that guild towards the early part of 2015 and later ended up in the guild spouse aggro and prior in that little bit of gap there I tried a couple um, different guilds on pub side that were doing conquest different things and actually have finished up the conquer of the galaxy title I have conquered every planet on the bastion server um, and Spouse Agro currently is the only guild that can claim that they have finished the entire thing and without being a part of that guild I would have never completed it. Um, they are truly awesome guys. But um, enough of that. I mainly play on Imp side and I see a lot of small guilds here and there popping up doing different things on Imp side. So I want to go through just a few things about Conquest. Um, the idea of Conquest is a way of guilds competing against each other of who can win if you place top of the conquest leaderboard on a planet you get a title conqueror of like the one I'm wearing Tatooine um, I got that title very first time Tatooine was up for conquest gentlemen gankers was the first one to grab it um, that was our prestigious title that we started out with there um, that's one of the big perks you get um, some other things that a lot of people don't realize that are actually beneficial especially if you're going to continue on with conquest later is when you go here to the conquest tab you can see leaderboards it's current leaderboards of the week um, my guild is currently on McKeb. we're not very really trying or doing anything this week we're taking an easy week off but you see here and I'm using this tune because I've not finished my personal goal we're on the leaderboard I can show you a few different things here so conquest is all about competing against different guilds we can flip different leaderboards here and see um, where different guilds are. There's Spouse Aggro and Cherry Pops is up on McKeb and Obscurity is currently winning on Voss. So we can see that. Those are the guilds currently atop the leaderboard. Um, rewards that a lot of people don't pay a lot of attention to because it is a little bit of a grind to get your personal conquest goal here. Um, as you see right here on mine, the goal is 35,000 points for this week. Some weeks are 25,000 points, that's a couple of the conquest events, as well as um, the total galactic war, it ups to 50,000 points. That is a pretty big grind that week. Um, but there are, are ways to get around that. So you see here, we see our conquest score personal. We see the planet our guild is currently on, guild name, guild total score, which is just cumulative of all guild members. And when you finish up your personal goal, you get a gathering lockbox universal. If you're into strongholds, that is good. It gives you personal prestige and it gives you some crafting nodes. Honestly, they're not that great. Um, what I recommend is if you're not in it for the personal prestige to make your stronghold prestige numbers look really good, sell them on the GTN. Um, they actually do sell typically if you put them at lower cost than they're already being sold for there is a little bit of money to be made off of those um, not just that but there is the 25,000 credit certificate which helps out a little bit but then the blue and green Jawa scrap um, this is not a huge deal so to say but um, this is helpful if you're doing conquest on and on because the green Jawa scrap is helpful in crafting um, for guilds, blue Jawa scrap sometimes can help with um, crafting dark projects or maybe um, prefab kits for decorations, things like that. The blue scrap can come in handy and be very useful. If you care absolutely nothing about that and you want to take that blue Jawa scrap, it is yours. It is your personal reward. You can turn it in, sell the mats on the GTN, and make credits out of it. 
just being honest. Um, as well as at level 60 you get about 20,000 credits to finish up your um, conquest goal. So that's just some personal rewards. On the guild side, this is a different one here. You get at the end of the week, if your guild places in the top 10 on the leaderboard and you made your personal conquest goal, you get guild rewards. So what is that? It is another gathering lockbox, which again, my advice, if you don't care about the personal prestige, throw them on the GTN, make some money. Um, 50,000 credit certificate. That's a little bit better. So um, this is a guarantee at level 60. You get about 20,000 credits for each you know, personal and guild reward, plus 75,000 from certificates. You make a little over 100,000 credits a week, not counting if you throw the gathering nodes that you get from that um, decoration box on the GTN. That's some extra money that can be made from Conquest here. So the other item you get is Jawa Junk. This is another one you turn in at the Jawa vendors for a artifact quality um, mats. And this is another one that is useful for dark projects, crafting certain things, prefab kits, maybe some higher quality mods, enhancements, hilts, barrels, things like that. This is very useful because this is almost free and from a point of view and is very helpful. The other thing you get here is you get to pick one of the flagship encryptions. Um, this is one I know pretty much any guild highly, highly, highly wants you to pick one. Typically they have one they're gathering over another, but typically they're not going to complain if you just give them this um, reward here because this is what is used to unlock additional rooms on the flagship. The idea behind this is if people do not craft dark projects to trade in for encryptions and people do not do their personal conquest goal, you don't get encryptions, you don't get to expand your flagship, it takes forever. That's just the way it is. Um, typically a lot of guilds have just a few people that do conquest goal, donate the encryptions, and it takes a long time to um, gather enough encryptions. It takes 50 of each encryption to turn into one framework, and takes multiple frameworks to unlock one room of a flagship with the additional 5 million credit requirement. And I will be doing another video later giving a general overview of strongholds, flagships, that kind of thing for those people that are not used to those for another request um, from some people in my guild asking me to. So to go over conquest, how do you make your personal conquest? How do you help your guild place on the board? How do you get these points? things like that. First requirement is your guild has to have a flagship which costs 50 million credits. Um, my guild was lucky enough to have the people dedicated raise the money in three days after starting the guild to buy the flagship which was really awesome. So making your personal conquest a lot of it depends on the bonuses of the planet and that varies week to week and I'll show you something helpful for that in a moment. Um, Alderan, you can kind of look, has bonuses for flashpoints and war zones. Makeb, war zones, war supplies, and Voss, crafting. Lots of crafting. That is something you will hear over and over and over in regards to conquest is crafting, because that is a big way that a lot of guilds make a lot of points in a hurry. So this week, just to give you some ideas, there are repeatable goals and there are one-time objectives. Some of them you never do, some of them are kind of quick, easy, you can go run through them, no big deal. So crafting, crafting, crafting. Um, big thing in Conquest, you see that crafting a war supply gives, it's 500 base points. If your guild is invading Makeb or Voss, you get a two times bonus to 1,000 points. So something else to go with that is stronghold bonus. The way this is calculated, and this is something somebody else does not, um, or a lot of people don't really understand, is your stronghold bonus is highly important in gaining your personal conquest goal. Um, if you have a really low stronghold bonus, it makes conquest very, very difficult. Um, like me, I was able to spend the money, unlock all of my current strongholds, um, throw decorations down in most of them, and that'll be in my strongholds video showing you just how you fill up a room insanely quick to get a hundred percent and what this does off the 500 base points for crafting a war supply I will get 500 points I get my stronghold bonus which is 100 percent that is an additional 500 points plus a two times bonus which only counts on the base number of points that means for each individual war supply I get 1500 conquest points per war supply now that may not seem like a bunch to you, but if you have enough mats to craft several of those, it adds up in a hurry. Um, a lot of us, and I'm going to be doing a separate video just on crafting and gathering for conquest 
another by request because that is probably one of the easiest way to make personal conquest is just by crafting um, one objective and all but two weeks of or all but two conquest events invasion forces are a one-time a thing to craft it requires one of each individual type of war supply there are five and it will give typically 2,000 points every single week unless there is a bonus for it like you see Voss here has a two times bonus for that um, this is one for example my 100% stronghold instead of 2,000 points I would receive 4,000 if I was on Voss I would re receive 6,000 I hope that's clear understandable um, one thing that a lot of people do not realize on invasion forces however is they count as individual war supplies because if you see at the bottom here or an invasion force so for me I crafted an invasion force I got 2,000 points stronghold bonus 4,000 plus this I got 5,500 points for crafting one war or one invasion force so very useful um, operations flash points are something that come up from time to time and vary a little bit um, this week on McKeb you got 1,000 points or a three times additional bonus for going to kill um, the Golden Fury, which is Taboro's Courtyard, the single operation boss on McKeb. Um, that was a one-time objective. Q for a random flashpoint, 1,000 points, fairly straightforward. Q for a random operation with the group finder, very handy at level 60 because we get daily updates to um, group finder operations. All the level 55s and the two level 60 raids currently are up. Um, here's one that requires a... I wouldn't say a large guild, but you would need a core group of level 60s to go and take down these, is defeating base guards. We've all seen those champion guards at different bases. Um, that's what these are. There's Republic and Empire objectives for each one. That way, no matter which side you're on, you can go and defeat these. There's two different planets. We've got Makeb and Alderan as two this time around you can get points from. Times world bosses are up, um, individual missions and things. One that is typically up every week is beating a battle master. That again kind of falls under the base guard category. And then starfighter, heroic missions, um, killing NPCs on certain planets. Those are up. Um, this is one that is up every single week as a guarantee, along with the random flashpoint, random operation here, is PvP. PvP is up, completing a unranked. PvP match is 500 points this week with the McKeb bonus, 250 regular. Winning a match, 500 points. Completing your weekly PvP was 1,000 points, not counting in um, bonus or stronghold bonus, of course. So, to sum up um, Conquest in a nutshell, the way that is the easiest to get it is it's easiest for PvP people. I will not lie, me as a raider, if I do not craft, it is insanely difficult for me to get to Conquest without mixing in some PvP and things. Um, PvP crafting, obviously the two easiest and biggest ways to gain Conquest points. So the idea behind this is a lot of guilds now look at Conquest because when I look at this I see crafting war supplies which is just a Conquest objective. PvP, if you do random raids, random flashpoints, it all gives you some type of conquest score even if you don't get to your personal conquest goal. A lot of guilds now look and say if you're getting zero conquest points, you are inactive. You're logging in, looking at something, and leaving. You know What, what are you doing in the game? If you're getting zero points, basically you're doing nothing in the game unless you are leveling a new tune. So in my guild, we see a lot of lower level people leveling up not really doing flashpoints or anything because of the 12 times XP that's understandable but when you've got level 60 people they're not PvPing, they're not raiding they're not crafting what exactly are they doing in the game that's what a lot of um, bigger guilds are currently looking at um, trying to see are people inactive are they active what are they contributing so a couple useful things I want to throw out for you in Conquest just for information sake is open up my web browser here and Dolphy.net a very useful website but they do have a page here for Planetary Conquest you can find that under the information for patch 2.9 Planetary Conquest and they have all the different Conquest events that are currently available they've got just kind of some general overviews that I've went over myself and the different Conquest events you scroll down they will here have 
the upcoming schedule, some data miners grab this from time to time, post it on Reddit, different things. And this did is occasionally off because of patches that happen. But the majority of the time, this is the most accurate conquest schedule that is around. And you can go here and, if you would like, view upcoming events, what objectives are coming up, things like that. Um, they also have this awesome image, which is a breakdown of which planets are available for um, which conquest event. And then you go down and you can see their overviews. And then here, for example, you see planets available. Um, we see what bonuses are for each planet, what the personal conquest goal is, and you can see a listing of objectives. Um, fairly useful, fairly nice to look at, um, not a big deal. Um, and then here is the other utility I want to point out to you. And this one is less useful now than it used to be. It's SWTORConquest.com. And the idea behind this was a guy created scanners that would scan the servers, look at the Conquest leaderboard, and create a leaderboard on a website. This was updated almost hourly when it originally came out. And now is not updated near as much. Um, it is not often and that makes it inconsistent. A lot of times it may go two or three days without being updated. But the one thing that I do like and I want to point out is it does keep a listing of top guilds per server, um, planet history, conquest event history, things like that. Again, it's not 100% accurate. I would say roughly it's about 75% accurate, roughly. Um, so it's not a utility to rely on, but it is nice occasionally to go and look, see how guilds are performing, how maybe your guild is stacking up against others, and things like that. Um, for example, I kept track of Gentleman Gankers when we first started, and for the first several months of Conquest, Gentleman Gankers was ranked in the top three in overall Conquest on the Bastion server. Currently now, the top two guilds on the server are Spouse Aggro and Cherry Pops. It's just kind of a fun thing to go and look and see the um, average score and how things work. So this is basically just a general overview of Conquest. The idea of this is just guild competition. They're trying to get you to compete against other guilds and this is heavily reliant on people, PvP, crafting, and dedication to a guild basically. That's the summary of it. Um, Conquest was a good idea for guilds competing. I really didn't was not a big fan of it in the idea that it's going to hurt smaller guilds, benefit larger guilds kind of things. There's been several guild mergers and things since then because of this kind of event being so stressful on small guilds. Um, if you do not craft, coordinate, and do conquest nonstop, you struggle to compete against big guilds and I've seen that tear guilds apart to the extent of some people really disliked focusing on conquest goals where others focused on it so heavily and was good at it and that became conquest guilds or um, people stopped focusing on it and only did PvP or raiding kind of thing. It, it's caused a lot of issues as far as guilds on our server and a lot of smaller guilds have started up, a lot of split offs, some guild mergers and different things. But overall for the most part Conquest is not a bad addition to the game. Um, it is a part of the game, it's not going anywhere. Hopefully they add more Conquest events soon and give us more stuff to do. But the core thing is, like I said, I'm making a video on crafting for Conquest. Please check that out. I'll have the link on my YouTube video and hopefully you guys understand conquest a little bit better maybe can contribute more to your guild help them out a bit more maybe realize kind of what conquest is in all honesty you can actually make credits off this people thought i was crazy when i figured out of selling the lock box rewards on the gtn selling mat rewards on the gtn um, and things like that and actually figured out i could make fairly decent money off of it while crafting for conquest and that kind of surprised some people and that's actually something else I'm going to make another video on for another request is credit making so look for that video as well coming soon thank you very much for watching have a good one